Welcome back students. In this video we're going to look at the gradient of two special types of lines which is lines that are perfectly horizontal such as the line XY and lines that are vertical the line MN. We want to basically use our rule to find the gradient of those two lines and then generalize so we can find the gradient of any horizontal line and any vertical line. Okay, let's get started. Okay, what I'm going to do is just pick a couple of points on this line. One there and one there. I don't like those colors, actually. I'm going to go ahead and choose a nice bright green so they're easy to see. So there's two points on the line. Okay, go back to gold for my writing. So I start by writing the gradient formula. M equals rise over, in fact, we can use the rise over run formula here. We don't need the, the gradient formula. This will make it a bit easier. So to get from that point to that point, my rise is zero and my run is one, two, three. And zero divided by any number. What does that equal? Well, it's like having a pizza. I cut it into three equal parts and this is how much you get you don't get any of it. So therefore, 0 divided by 3 is just 0. So a horizontal line has a gradient equal to 0. And that makes sense. It's basically saying how steep is it? Well, it's got no steepness at all. So absolutely flat, the gradient is 0. Okay, something a bit different happens with a vertical line. So once again, I'll pick two points on that. So there's one there and one there. Let's go ahead and calculate the gradient using rise over run. Okay, so in this case, my rise from that point to that point is one, two, three, four. My run is zero. I'm not going left or right at all. So therefore, the gradient is 4 over 0. Now, what's the interpretation of that? Well, this is saying, basically, I've got a pizza. I cut it into zero parts, and I give you four of them. Well, obviously, that's not possible. So 4 divided by 0, or the fraction 4 over 0, isn't a number. Try to type that into your calculator. You'll get a math error. And the fancy name we use for that is undefined. So in other words, a vertical line doesn't even have a gradient. The gradient is undefined. So to summarize, and you might want to just write this down, the gradient of a horizontal line, any horizontal line, is 0. And the gradient of any vertical line is undefined. It's not that it's 0. It literally doesn't have a gradient. Okay, let's find the gradient of the lines A, B, C, and D. Well, this is nice and easy. We don't have to do any calculations whatsoever. A is a horizontal line, so we know that for A, the gradient is zero. All horizontal lines have a gradient of zero. We know that for B, which is a vertical line, the gradient is undefined. I'm going to have to make a bit of space for that, so I might just erase what I've done there. And M equals undefined. Okay, line C once again is a horizontal line, so the gradient is zero. And line D is a vertical line, the gradient is undefined. All vertical lines have a gradient that's undefined. All horizontal lines have a gradient equal to zero. Let's see what happens if we try to use our gradient formula on this. So with this one here, again, those are the larger numbers. I'm going to call that one x2, y2. I'm going to call that one x1, y1. Write the formula for gradient, which is y2 take y1 all over x2 take x1 
Okay, well, y2 take y1 is just 4 subtract 4. x2 take x1 is 5 subtract negative 3. And 4 minus 4 is 0. 5 subtract negative 3 becomes 5 plus positive 3, which is 8. And 0 divide 8 is 0. And therefore, the gradient of the line passing through those two points is 0. Notice the y coordinates are the same, and therefore the line is horizontal. In this one, the x coordinates are the same. It doesn't really matter which point I call um, x1, y1, so I might do this one. Just um, I'll, get, I'll get a negative number, but that's OK. And x2, y2 and write the gradient formula. Again, you write the gradient formula each time, even though you've written it thousands of times, well, maybe 10 times by now. By the way, don't forget these are not powers, they're subscripts, so they always go below the y, not above the y, below the x, not above the x. Okay, let's substitute. y2 take y1, negative six, subtract three which will give us a negative, negative five subtract negative five. Okay, let's uh, subtracting a negative, always change that to adding a positive. Negative six take three is negative nine, negative five plus five is zero, and we can't divide by zero. So therefore, in this case, the gradient is undefined. And again, notice that happens when the x coordinates are the same. That gives us a vertical line. Okie dokie, let's uh, stop there. And um, you might want to go again and in your textbook practice some questions on gradient of horizontal and vertical lines.